bedroom? Pass flip phones, you cheeky ass. It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. We'll talk, but you better be fucking impressive. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Sabine, what are we getting into here? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face. For example... And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. This fellow isn't here, and it looks like there was a fight. What should we do? SIRS may be on to him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. Fine, if I get round to it.
another one. Turn to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. God. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. You're listening to the bug. Nibbling away on the rotten carcass of a once free Britain. Hello, resistors. This is the bug, keeping the fire of hope alive in the vacuum of today's Britain. Okay, fires don't burn in vacuums. It's a little novelty Christmas light, shaped like a flame, but it's something. It is. It is something to cling to. Joining me, as always, is uh, Alice. And uh, Alice, hold the front page. Technology apparently is here to stay. There's no way around that now. Um, I'd like to go back to the 18th century and see if we can have another crack at the industrial revolution and get it later on this time. But new tech is creating 4,000 jobs. Count them all, 4,000. 4,000 new jobs. The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. The mercenaries? Thought it would be sirs. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. 
Oh, don't be cheeky, Bagley. What else can you tell me? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me, please. I'm not who you think I am. You're mad, a service officer and a leaky fucking twat. It's not me, I swear to God, please, please. If those Albion Jack botherers think they can kill him before we've had a word, they're sorely mistaken. Bagley, let's have a location, dear. now. I'm with DedSec. You rang us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. I don't know for sure I betrayed them. We just saved your hide. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. They'll explain everything. Better idea. You explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe zero day are rogue SIRS officers who free. you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Right. 
We'll see what Bagley makes of your intel. Don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. What? Serious? You just watch your necessarily a bad thing. We ought to look at his information. All right, one second. Yes, Bagley, let's check his intel, then call the team in for a briefing, shall we? you're wrong. He needs our help. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good call, sweetie. Fine. stupid don't you find it predictable they set up two overly ecstatic characters 